वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 3.36 पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स सो स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इज द टॉर्क शोन आर एग्जर्टेड ऑन पुली बी सी एंड डी नोइंग दैट द इंटायर शॉफ्ट इज मेड ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम जी इज ट्वेंटी सेवन के का पास कल डिटरमाइन द एंगल ऑफ ट्विस्ट बिटवीन सी एंड बी एंड डी एंड बी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द शॉफ्ट और विच देर आर थ्री पुली बी सी एंड डी द टॉर्क ऑन पुली बी इज फोर हंड्रेड न्यूटन मीटर क्लॉक वाइज On C, this is counterclockwise. Nine hundred newton into meter, and at D, there is a five hundred newton meter in clockwise direction. And this diameter having diameter, uh, this rod having diameter thirty. The diameter of this rod B C is thirty, while the diameter of rod C D is thirty six, and D is also thirty six millimeter. So you have to find the angle of twist between B and C, and angle of twist between B and D. So let's start with the solution. So as we know that uh, uh, this T into L divide theta is equal to angle of twist is T into L divided by G J. So first, what we what we will do is that we will find it for shaft B C. So we will find theta B C will be equal to T B C into L B C. Divide by G into J B C. Now B C will be equal to zero point eight meter. That is given over here. Clear. What about T B C? So if you cut the shaft over here, so this is clockwise rotation torque. So we'll be having anti-clockwise. rotation tbc will be the same but clockwise okay anti clockwise so tbc is equal to 400 newton into meter and that is clockwise diameter of bc is given as 30 mm 30 mm so radius cbc will be equal to 30 divided by 2 which is equal to 15 mm And that fifteen millimeter CBC will be equal to zero point zero one five meter. Now, what about J? So J is the polar moment of inertia. So JBC is equal to pi by two, pi by four, pi by two C power four CBC. So pi by two, CBC zero point zero one five power four. So polar moment of inertia for BC rod is equal to seventy nine point five two into ten to the power minus nine meter power four. G is given as twenty seven giga pascal. So twenty seven into ten to the power nine pascal. Now you have all the values. Just put it in this formula: theta B C angle of twist between B and C is T B C, which is four hundred multiplied by length, which is zero point eight, divided by G twenty seven into ten to the power nine, and J is seventy nine point five two two into ten to the power minus nine, and the answer will be zero point one four. Double nine zero four radian. Now we know that two pi radian is equal to three sixty degree. So from here one radian will be equal to three sixty divided by two pi, which is equal to one eighty degree over pi. So convert this radian into degree. So theta B C. Will be equal to zero point one four double nine zero four multiplied by one eighty degree divided by pi, and theta B C will be equal to eight point five four degree. Now we will move toward part B, and in part B we have to find theta B D. So you can see that. Theta B D will be equal to theta B C plus theta 
C D. So we have this. So first we will find theta C D. So theta C D is equal to T C D into L C D divided by G into J C D. So L C D is given as uh, length is given as one meter. Diameter is thirty six. So L C D is one meter. Diameter of C D is equal to thirty six millimeter. So radius C C D will be equal to eighteen millimeter, and that will be equal to zero point zero one eight meter. What will be the polar moment of inertia of C D? That will be equal to pi by two C D. C C D power four. So pi by two. C C D zero point zero one eight meter power. Uh, power four, and that will give you one sixty four point eight nine six into ten to the power minus nine meter power four. Now we will find T C D. So T C D. You can see that if you cut the shaft over here so here we have two torque one is clockwise 400 and other one is 900 so 400 minus 900 or you can see this is clockwise so minus 400 plus 900 this is counter clockwise and this will be clockwise which is tcd so minus tcd will be equal to 0 so tcd will be equal to 500 but that will be clockwise so tcd is 500 that is clockwise also you can see the effect of this this is producing counter clockwise and this is producing clockwise twist so this theta will be positive and this theta cd will be negative due to clockwise torque So we will take T as minus five hundred. So theta C D will be equal to torque, which is minus five hundred newton into meter. Length is one meter divided by G is twenty seven kega pascal. So twenty seven into ten to the power nine and J of C D is one sixty four point eight nine six into ten to the power minus nine. So that will give you minus zero point. One one two three radian. Again, we know that uh, t theta C D is zero point minus zero point one one two three radian, and one radian is zero point one one two three. One radian is one eighty degree divided by pi. So you will get theta will be equal to minus six point four three. Degree. Now, theta B D is equal to theta B C plus theta C D. So theta B C was eight point five four degree minus theta C D is minus zero point one minus zero uh, minus six point four three degree. So you will get theta B D will be equal to two point one one degree, and this is the answer of our second part, and that was all about this problem three dash twenty six. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching